Hello, my name is Scott Cooper, and I'm the Telehandle Marketing Manager for the Telehandle Product Group located here in Clayton, North Carolina. I'm here today to talk to you about our new C-Series Telehandler lineup. Uh, we have a great, new, exciting product lineup that is made up of European and North American uh, built models. We have a TH series that comes out of uh, Europe that is more of our uh, stylistic design uh, and uh, features and benefit machine that we put into agricultural applications, for example. Uh, we offer a wide range of telehandlers from anywhere from a uh, lift height of 18 feet to 55 feet and capacities of 5,500 pounds all the way up to 12,000 pounds. Uh, and again, we'll focus on the launch of our C-Series uh, launch here with our new telehandlers. The first thing we're going to talk about on this new and exciting C-Series machine is we're going to focus on the work tool, the front of the machine where everything happens. Uh, we offer a wide range of work tools from truss booms to lifting hooks to buckets, carriages and forks of all different sizes and combinations. Um, so a lot of versatility located right here at the front of the machine. And you'll couple that tool right to our IT interface. And that IT interface makes everything interchangeable between our product and some of our other BCP products as well. We offer hydraulics out here on the boom, so you can get an, I, an IT hydraulic uh, pin coupler, or you can stick with the manual that you see here today, which typically is what we uh, put into our cat rental stores. Again, hydraulics uh, will allow you to open and close buckets to move any of the, the tools that may be uh, hydraulically driven as well. Well, we spent a lot of time on our new C-Series uh, TL launch in putting a lot of extra steel behind the boom face here to allow us to have that versatility with the tools and especially with any bucket uh, and material moving in the bucket that we might have in our applications on the job sites. Now we'll focus on the right hand side of the machine. We'll focus right here on our stabilizers. We do offer stabilizers on the TL642 and the TL943C. Uh, both of these machines have the stabilizers as an option. On the TL-1055 and the TL-1255C, they are uh, standard on our package. Now, that's a great selling feature because most 6,000-pound and 9,000-pound machines do not offer stabilizers uh, on their machines for heavy lifting. Um, one of the other things i like to point out on our boom face here is the, you'll see up here, the numeric 9. Uh, that is to designate the, the weight capacity of the machine especially in the cat rental store where you're managing inventory you don't have to go out and visit every single machine uh, to see what weight class it is you can simply look down the line of machines and see how many of each size class machines you have uh, another thing with the the type of boom that we have here is, is what we call a box section boom and again we put a lot of time and effort into strengthening this boom recently with extra steel thickness and that allows us to utilize a lot of different work tools on the front of this machine and engage in a little bit more bucket work with the TL series. And again, we offer a wide arrangement of mirrors and lights that go out here on the boom and on the, the front part of our engine pod to allow the operator to have great sight, great visibility anytime during the day while he's working. And now we'll go visit the, uh, the engine bay. We'll move here to the, the engine part of the machine here. Uh, before I open the engine compartment up, I'd like to point out that we've changed the styling of the hood here to give better visibility to the right-hand side of the machine. With the boom lifted up in the air, the operator has great visibility to the right. Uh, this is a side-mounted engine, so it allows the boom uh, to get down close into the cradle. And as well as if you have any type of service issues, you don't have to lift the boom up to get to the engine pod itself. So a great feature there. As I open this up, you'll notice there's no twisting or anything to the hood. Very good, strong struts here to keep the hood on and in place. With the new C-Series, we're introducing our new CAT engine, Tier 4 interim, which is our 3.4. And then we have our new CAT transmission that uh, we're putting into these machines now. And again, to give a good power package to deliver the type of power that you need to do your, your work every day. A couple of options that we offer on this engine uh, is a dual battery. We also have a transmission disconnect that would be located right here. You've got your diesel particulate filter here for your tier four interim requirements. And then we have a larger cooling package in the rear of the machine as well. 
This engine has great serviceability. All, all of the components here are easy to access and uh, does a great job. Next, I'd like to point out a couple things here to the right rear of the machine, one of them being our tire offering. We offer a wide range of tires, whether it be an agricultural type tire, a general construction tire, or more of an own road type tire. All of our machines come standard with this Firestone Duraforce tire, uh, which is a great long lasting tire. Um, and again, if you need to foam fill our tires, we can do that straight from the factory or it can be done after the fact as well. Uh, one other thing I'd like to point out here is our, our exhaust pipe. Again, one of the details that we, we pay a lot of special attention to is protecting that exhaust pipe. And you can see all the guarding that uh, is right there around the pipe itself uh, in case anything were to come in contact with that exhaust. Again, just some of the extra things that we do here to protect our machine to keep them reliable. Now to focus on the back of the machine here. We have a plate here that allows you to get into the back of the boom section here. You basically take off a couple of bolts here and then you're into the back section of the boom where all of your hoses and cylinders are located. Uh, if there's any service work that needs to be done in the back of the boom, again, very uh, accessible. Down here in the bottom, we have a compensating cylinder that allows the load to be kept level throughout the entire lift in place. Uh, it's a large cylinder located and protected by the frame itself. And then on the back of the frame here, we have a large counterweight that allows you to have good stability on this machine. And we do have a wide variety of hitch options to go on the back here as well. One of the other things I like to point out in looking at the rear here is that we do have some hoses that come around the side of the frame. All those hoses and tubes are protected uh, by the housing that you see there. And again, anywhere on the machine that we do have exposed hoses or lines, we like to keep those completely covered um, for, for safety purposes. One of the key differentiators on a TL versus a TH would be your, your pivot point. And on the TL, this is called a high pivot point, which allows the operator to have great visibility when he's lifting and placing materials all day long. And again, the TL machine from the North American market and the rental cat rental store, that's what they use these machines to do. For, for the TH models though, the, uh, po the point of pivot is much lower so that when the boom is in its most down position, it will be in the cradle. And for lift and carry, then the operator can uh, operate through the job site, just picking materials up and roading them around great distances and have great visibility all around as well. So again, the uh, pivot point on these being a high pivot. And then we have our main lift cylinder here underneath the boom. Again, uh, straight in line with the boom itself. And then up above there, we have our air cleaner, which uh, gets a lot of clean air by being placed up at the top of the cab. We'll finish up our walk around talking about the cab area here. We do offer two types of uh, cab. We have an open cab like you see displayed here. We also offer a, uh, a cab machine that's fully enclosed, which also has options of heat and air conditioning. Again, very ergonomic cab, very comfortable cab, very easy to see, great visibility when the boom is up in the air. Uh, for this lift and place machine, you've got great visibility under the boom here and then up towards your load. The cab and the canopy version also offer the rock and screen guarding for the top and the front of the machine that allows any debris that may fall out of a bucket, for instance, uh, that may come in contact to keep it from coming inside the cab itself. Some of the things that we offer on the outside here with our fender, uh, that comes standard to keep any debris that may uh, be thrown up on the front of the cab here. We also offer four fenders for all the wheels that uh, allow to keep debris and, and, and things off of the machine itself. Again, inside of the cab, we have a brand new joystick here. Uh, very easy to operate, does all of your boom functions right here for one, one safe source. It also, if you've got hydraulics on the end of your boom, allows you to operate the tool here from the joystick as well. Right behind that, we have our frame tilt, which allows you to tilt the machine side to side to get level when you're trying to make a lift. Use this in, in in uh, conjunction with uh, our rotating carriage really gives you that precise unloading into buildings. Then back on the back here we have our stabilizer uh, and stabilizer levers that allow you to deploy those stabilizers, get in tight to a building and then make a heavy lift into the building. 
Inside of the cab here, we have our load charts. The great thing about the cat machines is we have all of our range of tools located in one safe source. So if you buy the machine with the carriage and forks, you're still going to get a full book with all the tools that CAT offers. And that allows you, as you add that to your, uh, your portfolio of tools, you have all your safety requirements right here in the cab. The uh, TL9 specifically has transmission disconnect which deploys when you uh, push down on your service brake and allows you to kick the transmission out and deliver all the power to your boom and tilt functions without the fear of uh, progressing to into whatever you're facing. So again, uh, we have a, a nice uh, shifter here. We have a drink holder, a box back here to uh, put materials in, and again, a very nice wide open area here for comfort and safety. So in conclusion, I'd like to just wrap up by saying that we have a, a very wide range of telehandlers to offer. Uh, one thing that I would like to explain to you today is that when you're looking at our nomenclature, it does make sense. Uh, the 9 in our nomenclature stands for 9,000 pounds, and then the 43, the last two digits, are the lift height. So this would be a 9,000 pound, 43 foot uh, lift height machine. And again, we offer eight models with a wide range of work tools to go on the front of these, these units and uh, they'll do an excellent job for you. For more telehandler information, please contact your local cat dealer or your local cat rental store.